Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make an acronym generator in C Sharp. Now we all know what acronyms are, you know, they're all over the place, and especially in the tech world, they are used literally for like every sentence. Um, there's so many things that we can condense down into an acronym, and I think it's going to be a fun exercise to just, you know, uh, make a acronym generator. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. And first you're going to want to open up Visual Studio and create a new project. And we're going to make a C Sharp console app. Let's go ahead and click that, click next. And we're going to name it. We're going to call it um, ac Acronym Generator. Go ahead and load that up. All right, guys, now that we've loaded into our project, go ahead and remove this starter code that they put here. And the very first thing we're going to do is make a try and catch block. So go ahead and write that out. For the catch area, we're going to catch um, exception E. And if for whatever reason we do trigger an error, we do want to know what that error is. So let's go ahead and just say console.writeline and then e.toString. And this is just going to go ahead and convert that exception to a string and print it out for us to see. Now you might ask yourselves why we're wrapping the entire program in a try catch. And that's because, you know, we're working with strings and user input and that's very prone to error. So I think best practice in this simple tutorial um, is to just, you know, wrap it in a try catch, and that way we make sure that the program doesn't actually crash. All right, so we want to generate an acronym, and the first thing that we actually need is to gather a sentence from the user. Um, that way we can work with it and then turn it into an acronym later. And yeah, so if we want to go ahead and get input from the user, what we're going to want to do is first tell them what we actually need from them. So let's go ahead and say console.writeline. And in here, we're going to go ahead and say, please enter a phrase to convert to an acronym and go ahead and add a colon and a space as well. All right, so we've printed all the questions to the user. Now we actually have to go ahead and um, collect input from the user. So we know it's going to be a string. So we're gonna say string input is equal to, and then we're gonna call console.readline. And what that's gonna do is it's going to read the very next line in the console after it prints this out and it's gonna go ahead and save whatever that is into this input um, string here. All right guys, and also we might as well just add a comment, um, you know, gather input from user. And then now that that's done, the next step is going to be, you know, before we go ahead and convert it into an acronym, why don't we exclude some of the stuff from the sentence that um, probably wouldn't be part of an acronym. And what I'm talking about there is basically some acronyms might not use the word of, or some acronyms might not use, you know, the word and in them, and others might. And uh, yeah, this is completely optional, but I think it's a good exercise just to practice. So what we could do is say, um, you know, optional exclusions, and we're just gonna go ahead and try to exclude the word and. So we need to save, this string input um, to something after we remove the word and, right? So we're gonna say string exclusions is equal to, then we wanna go ahead and call the um, string. So we're gonna say input, and what we wanna do is say dot replace. And inside of these parentheses here, there's two different parameters. The first one is going to be, um, you know, the character or characters that you want to replace. And then the second parameter is what you want to replace it with. So since we're removing the word and, this first parameter is going to be and. And then we're going to say comma and then put quotes in here as well and just leave it blank. And that's because anywhere that we want to find the word and, we literally just want to replace it with nothing. And go ahead and add a semicolon to the end of that sentence here. Or sorry, the end of that line. All right, guys, now that we've removed the word and, um, let's go ahead and start preparing it because we need to actually uh, loop through each or loop through the whole sentence and kind of like, you know, take the first letter of each word and make our acronym, right? So the first thing we need to do is create an array of words from the sentence. And we're going to do that by saying string word array. And oops, I just um, forgot these little brackets here. So you want to make a, uh, a array of strings called word array, and that's equal to exclusions dot split. And this dot split function is going to, um, you know, split this whole string up by whatever character we specify. And the character we're going to specify is just a space. So that way, every single um, space is where it's going to kind of slice the string and then put it into this word array. And before we begin the next part, let's just go ahead and print this out to ourselves and test it. That way we know it's working. So we're going to just say, you know, um, word array dot length. 
As long as it has a dot length field, that means we know that um, it should be splitting right. So let's go ahead and run it. And as it runs here, it says, please enter a phrase to convert to an acronym. And I'm just gonna say, you know, the thing and the thing. And it should have a length of four because we remove the word and, and then there's four words left. So if we click enter, you'll notice the length is five. And why is the length five and not four? And that's because you'll notice, so my sentence I typed in here was the thing and the thing, right? We would delete the word and, which left us with this. And then we're splitting on spaces. So here's one, two, and then here's three and four. So if we're splitting four times, we're gonna have five different um, saved items in that array. And that all that means is really we just have to deal with this space um, when we're looping later. So now let's just erase this part here. Now we're gonna say, um, you know, loop through sentence. And how we're gonna do that is we're first gonna create our acronym. So our acronym string is going to be blank because we're gonna store it all in there. And now we're gonna add a for loop here. So we're gonna say for int at i is equal to zero. i is going to be less than the word array dot length. And then we're going to increment i after each loop. And in here, we're just gonna say, hey, if the word array at i is not equal to a blank string, then we can go ahead and process the word. But if it is equal to a blank string, it's just going to ignore it and then loop again. And all we're going to say in here is that um, the acronym we created above is plus equals the word array at i, and then the very first character of that word. So as it's looping, let's say my, you know, my sentence once again was the thing and the thing. Now we'll remove and, which leaves us with this. And the first loop, it's going to hit this word here. It's going to grab a character at index zero, which should be this T here. And then it's going to add it to this acronym string, which is exactly what we want. Now all acronyms are uppercase. So the one thing we want to do is after this for loop completes, we know we have our acronym stored in that acronym string. So we're just going to say that the acronym is equal to the acronym, oops, acronym. Um, and then say two upper. And that's just going to convert every single thing in the string to an uppercase letter, which is what we want. And finally, now that we are done with that, literally we're just going to say console.writeline and then say your acronym is colon space and then a plus and then put, go ahead and reference that acronym variable and put a semicolon. All right, guys, we have completed our program. So let's go ahead and test it and make sure it works. So we're running it now. Please enter a phrase to convert to an acronym. Um, I don't know, we're gonna say, let's let's give it a real test. Let's do NASA. So NASA is the National Aeronautics, oops, Aeronautics and Space Administration. And it should remove the word and, and then just return NASA as the acronym. So we click enter, and you'll notice that your acronym is NASA, which is awesome. It successfully ignored and, converted everything uppercase and grabbed all the right letters. So that's awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this, comment down below any thoughts or suggestions for the next video and I'd be happy to help you out. And with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.